Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, we're going to be validating a form built with React. So what are we going to be using? Well, we're going to be using React Hook Form to build the form, but this method will work with Formic and any other form library that supports YUP validation. We're going to be using YUP for the validation schema, and we're going to be using TypeScript. And if you're not already using TypeScript, I'm hoping to make a good case for you to use TypeScript with your forms. So let's take a quick look at the problem that we're going to be solving. So we have this registration form here and we can see that we have nothing filled out and we can click register. And if we inspect the network request, we can see that the form has been submitted. And if we have a look at the values, most of them are blank and vehicles is set to false, but vehicles here is a checkbox list. So all of this is obviously incorrect. And if this was a real form, the server would return an error. But for the user experience, we want to show errors in line in the form so the user can quickly fix their mistakes before they submit the form. So let's take a look at the form that we're going to be creating the validation for. So this is my form here, and you can see that I'm using React Hook Form, and we are using Axios, and we're just using some styles imported from this home.module. We have a few enums here for gender and for vehicles. We have an onSubmit handler. And we're using the use form hook here. And we have some errors coming out of our form. These errors aren't going to work at the moment because we have no validation on the form. And you can see here, this is pretty standard form. And you can see our TypeScript enumerators here are being used to populate this checkbox list. And this is a really handy feature. And you can do this because TypeScript enumerators are essentially just objects. So let's get started building the validation schema. So I'm going to import a few things from Yup. So I'm going to import string and number for now. And I'm also going to import object. And down here, I'm just going to say const schema equals object. Sometimes you'll see yup being imported like this. And you can do that if you like, and this would be yup.object. But I like to import each little bit individually. And the first item that we're going to validate is this name field. So we can just say name is going to be a string and the string is going to be required. And we can put an error message in this required field here that just says name is required. And when our errors get printed out, we have this little error message here that says errors.email.message. And if this has a string in it, it will get printed to the screen here. And we just have a few styles here that says that it should be the color red and it adjusts the margins. So let's add this validation schema to our form to make sure that it's working. So we can say resolver. Sorry, we need to pass in an object and we can say resolver. And this is going to be equal to a yup resolver. And yup resolver is going to take our schema. We need to import yup resolver. So we import yup resolver from slash at hook form slash revolvers slash yup. And if you haven't already, you need to install this resolver here. So in the console, you can type yarn add at hook form slash resolvers. And if you haven't already, you'll need to install yup as well. So now that we have our name field in the schema, we can save it and we can have a look at our form and see what errors we get. So if we click register account, we can see that the network request is no longer sent and we get our error in the error message. So let's add our error messages for email, age, gender, and what vehicle do you own? So we can copy the name field and we can say this one is email and we're gonna say string.email and we can change the error message to email is required. And if it's not a valid email, we'll say email must be a valid email address. 
You can leave these error messages blank, but Yup will use the default error message for the field, which is not very pretty. And then we're going to say age, and age is going to be a number, and the number is required. And we can give an error message that says age is required. And we're going to say the minimum age is going to be 13. And we can pass this an error as well that says the minimum age is 13. And then for gender, we accept whatever is in this enum. So we can say gender is a type of string and it's required. And it must be one of, and we can say object.values.gender. So the last item to validate is going to be vehicle. And vehicle is going to be an array of strings that come from this vehicle's enum. And it's nullable. So I'll remove this nullable field from here for now. And we can see why we'd want to add that field. So if we come back over to our form and click register, you can see that we get this really big error message here. And it's saying if intended as an empty value must be sure to mark the schema as nullable. So let's go and add that. And then we can see what error message we get then. And if we want to trigger this error, we can see that our enumerator has car, bike, boat, or tractor. And down in this form, we have a dodgem car that isn't in that enumerator. So if we click on dodgem car, it tells us that the message, it must be of type car, bike, boat, or tractor. So let's fill in this form. We can say, my name is Tom. My email address is Tom at, and you can see the error message changes based on the input. So this no longer says that it's required. It's going to tell us that the email is invalid. And then the age here, we go up. The minimum is 13. We get to 13 and it is successful. So we can unclick Dodgem car and click car. Click register account. And we can see our get request here includes our vehicle, our gender, our age, and an email address and name. So there was also an error message on the age. So if we get rid of the age, it says, the type must be a number, and at the moment it is not a number. So we can fix that with a type error. So if we come up to our age, we can say number.type error. And we can give this an error message that says age must be a number. We come back to our form. We can refresh the form. And you can see that when the age is blank, it now says age must be a number instead of that big, long, ugly error message. So the last thing we want to do is we want to be able to type this on submit handler. So we can see that our values here have a type of any. So we want to get a type from our yup schema. And we can do that with the infer type. So we'll import infer type. And then we can say type props is equal to infer type. And then we can just say type of, and we're going to pass in our schema here. And you can see our props here is a type that matches our validation. So we can pass this props into our React hook form here like this. And we can also pass our props in like this. So we now know what the type of values is going to be. So that's how to validate a React form with Yup. Please like the video and please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, you can find the code on GitHub.